Today is the day you will lose fat. Come see Dr. T at NJ Diet. Easiest diet I've ever done. It's changed my life. Come see Dr. T. Using blood work and DNA testing. 1-855-5-NJ-DIET and njdiet.com. Change your life in only 40 days with NJ Diet. The Knights of Columbus were real headbreakers, true guineas. They took over their piece of the city. 20 years after an Irishman couldn't get a f***ing job, we had the presidency. May rest in peace. If I got one thing against the black chappies, it's this. No one gives it to you. You have to take it. It's Jack Nicholson playing Frank Costello. Talking about Johnny Russo a couple days ago. That was Jack in the great Martin Scorsese movie, The Departed. And what that means for us is Irish movies. You know, we've done an unbelievable three hours today. I know Alan Brown doesn't like to look back, but I'm just telling you, Chuck Todd came on, was all fired up about this. Lori Lachlan college scandal. Arthur Idala really fired up how people like me kind of, you know, conflate every Italian to be a member of the mob. Even Frank O'Hara that came on and talked about the, the, the actual case was the Sicilians or Gene Gotti that killed... Frankie Boy Cali, it's been an amazing show. So now we start this fourth and final hour of the day and final hour of the week on the Bernie and Sid Show talking about Irish movies on this St. Patrick's Day weekend with our friend who is now here all the time because he's great and he's the best film critic in the business by a distance. No doubt. Even better than Rex Reed, which we never would have said about two months ago. It's our good buddy <laughs> Neil Rosen. Thank you, thank you, Good thank morning. you. How are you? Yeah. I think it's a real slight, Bernie, that they didn't, they're not making you Grand Marshal in this parade. You I, know, I, I gotta, really, who's better than you to do this thing? I mean, really, what, what, they what's actually picks They actually picked Shaquille O'Neal because he sounds more Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather sit home tomorrow and watch it on TV than be the Grand Marshal. Be honest with you. Really? Well, no, he really would. Well, yeah. it's less of a, it's, it's going to rain. But, so, but I appreciate uh, the kind words. Yeah, there you go. There yeah. you go. But there so anyway, Neil Rosen, we're going to talk about... Uh, among other things, we'll start off with some Irish movies. Some Irish movies. St. Patrick's Day weekend. Yes, plus some movies that are uh, opening up this weekend as well. But we'll start off with some Irish movies. Before I tell you my favorite Irish movies, before uh, we, uh, during the break, uh, Sid was telling me that he, well, what's your favorite Irish movie? Well, I'll tell you this. Uh, the part is great, but I have a movie that is not only my favorite Irish movie, one of my five favorite movies ever. Go ahead. And it's a story, and don't give it away, because I know you know it. Sean Penn grows up uh, with the Westies. Ed Harris, Jackie, uh, Gary Oldman, those are his buddies. He goes to Boston, ends up working for the cops. John Torturo sends him back to New York City to arrest his childhood friends. In fact, Robin Wright played Ed Harris's sister in the movie. He ends up falling in love with her on the set, and they get married in real life. Make a long story short, the end of the movie, he's walking through the St. Patrick's Day parade, and he ends up in a, in a blazing gun scene in a little bar with Ed Harris. As the parade is going on, they go back and forth between gunfire and the guys, you know, with the skirts, what do you call them? You know, the, the kilts. kilts. The kilts, kilts thank you. Kilts. And it's one of the best, not just Irish movies, but movies ever about the Westies. And it ends on St. Patrick's Day, State of Grace. State of Grace is a good movie. Good, good call. Really good movie. And then give me yours, uh, give me yours, Bernie, and then I'll get my give you favorite, my list. Uh, my li- I'll give you a quick list, all okay, right? Give me you got The Quiet list. Man, of course, John Wayne, Maureen O'Hara, Barry Fitzgerald, Ward Bond. I mean, John that's a classic. For- John Ford directed John Ford direct- 1952. Yes. Right. Might be, you know, it's between that, uh, The Searchers or Stagecoach. Might be John Wayne's best film is The Quiet Man. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it, it was set in Ireland, and I've been to the, uh, the town where they filmed it. Really? I actually went to Kong, Ireland. Did they actually film it there, or did they, they film no, it on a Hollywood no, back filmed lot it right there in that town. In no fact, kidding. all the buildings are still standing. It's a tourist attraction. But anyway, great movie. Love it. Great Irish stuff in it. But also, there was uh, a movie called I See a Dark Stranger. Do you remember this, uh, Neil Rosen? No, I do not. Deborah Kerr and Trevor Howard, who was Leslie Howard's brother, the guy who played uh, Ashley in Gone with the no, Wind. of course. I never got, by the way, Leslie Howard. I never understood, you know, you're watching Gone with the Wind, and it takes place in the South during the Civil War, and here's this guy, Leslie Howard, with a British accent. <laughs> it makes no, no sense, and, and, and nobody's ever mentioned that, yeah. you know, and it's like, you know, everybody's got, got, got a Southern accent, and he's like, oh, Scarlet, oh, I have to tell I'm like, what oh, is going on God. here? This is like, this, it's the South in the Civil yeah, War. It, it was a little miscast, no, but, no, no, uh, but you kind of uh, uh, suspend disbelief is what they call it, right? Well, that's true. Well, hey, I'm going to give you a few. Well, hold on, before you do, would you okay. consider Rudy and an Irish movie because it's Notre Dame. Uh, no, right? No, yeah, it's on the fence. But Rudy's a great movie. I, I mean, I don't. I wouldn't really consider it an Irish movie. Right, you okay. know, it's a, it's a true story. 
But that scene when Rudy, you know, they put him in for the one play. I mean, that, that's, oh, you, you a, see, here's that's a great, you, and, the, and the family's there. But, I mean, that's, but, that's before, a great scene. Before you get to your list, this is why I almost suspended you for life last week. I don't know if you heard about this. But no, I, I what, almost what happened? You like all these schmaltzy. The, the fact that you really thought in your heart of hearts yeah. that Rami Malek deserved the Academy no, Award I over Viggo Mortensen. I yes, you said, did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you were happy. No, 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 that was an insulting performance. No, you're misquoting me. Okay, What I said is that Viggo Mortensen. Mortensen deserved the Academy oh, Award, okay. and that was my favorite performance of all those nominees, I but I told you that Rami Malek was going to win the Academy Award, okay. and, uh, Jill, and right. Jill Flipper said that she was thrilled. No, she's an idiot. It was nothing like funny. It was a candy school I, performance. Growing up in the Bronx, yeah. okay, right near that Arthur Avenue neighborhood where, he, yeah. you know, where that thing took place. Vigo was phenomenal. Oh, by the way, Jill has come around and said she now d- does think that Vigo deserved it too. Credit to Jill. No, I said, so I apologize. I said to I you. wanted Vigo. I said Rami was going. I told you if you're so, betting, he said Rami's right going to win. All and the Rami right won. Well, what Very are you good. getting all crazy with the guy for yeah. that Bernie? Yeah, yeah, and that, I also that, told you problem. that and everybody was saying Roma, that piece of garbage, was going to win. And I said no, Green Book is going to yes, win. You did. Yes, you and did. And I said, and that was my favorite movie of the year. All right. So anyway, so here's some Brooks. Here's some uh, Irish movies that are on the top of my list. All right. First of all, I really like. Uh, you know, if you look at a stack of Irish movies, you got three directors really who are directing like most of these Irish movies. You got Jim Sheridan who did um, My Left Foot, and he did In America. Oh, big and, movies! Yeah. And, he's, and he and he did In the Name of the Father, which um, a lot of these Daniel Day Lewis movies. I yeah, really like right, My Left right. Foot, by the way. You know, I don't know if yeah. you've seen My Great Left Foot. Yeah, yes. You know, which is. Um, Daniel Day-Lewis won an Oscar, talking about Oscars, for that particular performance playing Christy Brown, this guy who had cerebral palsy, had no control of his body uh, except for his foot, and uh, he's banging uh, soccer balls with his head. And mm-hmm. no, everybody thought he was like, you know, uh, mentally challenged until he took his foot and he started writing like poetic things. It was amazing. Chalk. That's a great movie. When you say banging soccer balls, not like Tom Hanks did on that island when he called no, it Wilson. No, 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 no. Will, Wilson Castaway. No, this is a, but that's a true story. Uh, Christy Brown, he played Christy Brown. That's, a, that's, that's one of my favorite Irish movies. Uh, also, same director in The Name of the Father. Jim Sheridan, also with Daniel Day Lewis, about the um, you know the, uh, the guys in prison and uh, you know it, it took place. Uh, when did it? When did I, when did in the name of the father take place? And the name of the father took place in. Uh, it had to be the nineties. So I'm, I'm I'm blanking. I'm blanking. Yeah, that's but, when the, uh, Day Lewis was big in the nineties. Had to be in the nineties. Well, he was making all those movies over the gangs of New York and My Left Foot. All that was in the nineties. Yes. Right? Well, the movie came out. The movie came out uh, in. It's, it's uh, okay. In, 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 the, in, in the 90s. There right. you go. But it was about the 1974 pub bombings in a place called Gulford. Yes. And uh, they, yes. he's really with Pete Postlewaite and uh, Daniel Day were in, Lou, in, in prison for most of the movie. Well, an, an IRA movie, Yes, yeah, it's an IRA movie. Yeah. Yeah. But here's, here's two movies that I really love. One is Schmaltzy that you're not going to like. And one is just, like, fascinating. Uh, there's a movie called The Magdalene Sisters. I don't know if you ever saw this yeah, particular movie. Yeah, Schmaltzy. Uh, the Magdalene Sisters? No, that's not the Schmaltzy one. I'll Which get one? to the Schmaltzy one in a minute. The, the Schmaltzy one is Brooklyn. Which is about you know, I never the, saw it, but I wanted which, to see which is about the Irish immigrant experience. I'll get to that in a minute. But the okay. Magdalene Sisters, uh, which is one of my all-time favorite movies, it takes it, it was made in two thousand and three, and Peter Mullen is the director of this movie. And there's these laundries in Ireland. They're called laundries, but they what, what they really are are these prisons where they sense uh, supposedly fallen women that get pregnant out of wedlock or they're even flirty and they're like subjected to these uh. places so the first half of the movie is like a horror story these four girls are like you know sentenced to this place and the second half of the movie is like the great escape it's oh, like wow. they're gonna bust out of this place sounds and great it, it's great it's uh. just absolutely great now, brooklyn i wanted to see i don't know what it was about what was brooklyn about brooklyn stars saoirse ronan who um you know is in a lot of stuff and she's she's, she's hot a hot actress right yeah, now right she's great she's great yeah. and and brooklyn is about this um she plays this girl who, um, you know, in her 20s, who leaves Ireland to, they send her to, the, through the church, they send her to America, to Brooklyn, to, like, have a better life. And she wow. lives in a boarding house, and she's homesick and she's lonely until she meets this Italian guy oh. who likes Irish women, who's hanging out at Irish dances. And he goes, and she goes, you're not Irish. He goes, no, I like Italian women. I like Irish women. Right. And um, it's really about the Irish... America. She lives in a boarding house, as I said, and, and it's really about the Irish American immigrant experience. She has to go back to Ireland for uh, a family emergency, 
and she leaves this guy behind who oh. gets her pregnant. Oh God! But she she meets this other guy when she's in Ireland, and uh, you know she's not really showing yet. But it's it's she has to make a decision whether she wants to. Sounds like a whore. <laughs> no, she, this Take it is easy. great. This is a really great. <laughs> this is a great great. No, movie. It sounds good. Now, by the way, um, what you have to understand is I only like schmaltzy movies. Okay, well, you're but, I, but, love but I but I will not give a schmaltzy performance. Uh, an award over a deep performance. I found Rami Malek's performance to be so la- lack of depth, so unlike the real Freddie Mercury, that it was almost insulting. Very little drugs, very little gay sex. He sang and he looked like him, where Vigo... Vigo transformed himself yes. into a 1960s Italian guy yeah. driving through the South. Well, they sanitized uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yes. Yes. Big time. Yes. I mean, Big time. Really because, because Queen owns the rights. Right. And they right. Well, well that's what happened. I mean, the, the guy who played Borat. Um, Sasha Baron Cohen. Right. right was the originally going to do it. And yeah. they, they fired him off the movie because he wanted to show right. exactly. the real debauchery that like right. pretty yeah. Which they should have done. Then, like. he then he would deserve the Academy Award. Yeah, not but, that performance. Uh, this was exactly what, exactly what you said, Bernie, is, is what they did is Queen had a heavy hand. In the script, and you know they wanted to. You know, it, it was kind of like you know the, these 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 nights of uh, partying, and he's like, "Oh, that was quite a night last night, right, Freddie." You right, know what I mean? Instead right, of give like, me a break, you right. know, so, let's get effed up, and, they, and then they go to the next scene. But let's see it. But Vigo was like, I mean, literally, and if you've seen Vigo in other movies, I mean, all with you know, and people said who are not from the Bronx, and I am from the Bronx, that it was a little too much deems and does, and he was overdoing the accent. I said, not at all. Well, I know, I know that family. I don't, not the real yeah, family. Yeah. I know those people. Of Tony Vigo. Lip. Tony the Live yeah. just great. He and, was great. And I love that One movie. More Irish movie for you, then we got to yeah. go. Um, what about the movie The Commitments? Where do you put that I in? like The Commitments. Okay. I like The Commitments. Well, Alan Parker, who did Midnight Express and a bunch of other great movies. Um, yeah, Irish, that was good. Irish that, pub band and, and, and cover right. band. And, it it was fun. It was funny, good music. And right. finally, our next guest is a man named uh, Malachi McCourt. His brother wrote Angela's Ashes, Frank McCourt. Frank McCourt, who and, and that's an at Stuyvesant High School, yes. uh, like a few blocks from here. That's exactly right. Now, that movie, Angela's Ashes. I like Ashes, Angela's Ashes. A very dark movie, of course, very because dark. of the poverty in Limerick. But you did like that. And Robert Carlyle, he that's, got the eye off the fish. That's how poor they are. Yes, very picked, indeed. Very, very memorable. And so we, that's our next guest, just so FYI. We're going to speak to him. But in the meantime, Neil Rosen, you are a great guest. Oh, great guest. Oh, thank you, thank you. You really are. What do we got coming up next? What can we do? What's the next? Um, Tribeca, we could look at uh, Tribeca Film. Film Festival opens in April. I can tell you some really Let's good do that. Movie. Let's do, do that. that. But yeah. can I tell you about a quick... You have a quick minute? Go quick minute. Go okay. Opening in theaters today and on Netflix, you know, all these movies now, they, they, they're made for Netflix. But they could, the Highwaymen, it's with uh, Woody Harrelson and Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner doing kind of like an older version of the now that it's character that the Touchables. This is the flip side of Bonnie and Clyde. I love Bonnie and Clyde, the 67 movie. Yeah, me too. With um, Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway, Faye directed Dunaway. by Arthur Penn. This is about the, the, the guys who killed them, who tracked them down. They're Texas Rangers. Yeah. The FBI couldn't find these guys, and they're using like old school techniques of like tracking, like, like you know, uh, looking at footprints. Yeah. Where yeah. They What's the name of the movie? I, I, I mean, called I'm the, high, the Highwayman. The Highwayman. And it's about the, it's, it's the other side and, of the court. And it's Netflix or it's a... It's in theaters, theaters. now. It'll be on okay. Netflix at the end of the month. And um, it's it's kind of like both movies, Bonnie and Clyde, and this movie sync I up at the it. end. I love it. But it's like, you know, at the end of Bonnie and Clyde, the way all these guys like, you know, they shoot Bonnie and Clyde. This is Bonnie and Clyde aren't even in this movie. It's about these guys, yes. how they found Bonnie and Clyde because they were it. very elusive. With sounds uh, sounds excellent. We're going to check it. that out. We yes. will check that out. Kevin hey, Neil, Costner. thank you. You're really, really, really good. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Thanks that was a blast. Lot. Neil Rosen, everybody. Yes. We'll take a, a short break. Still lots more to come. 40 more minutes of Bernie and Sid right after this. Bernie and Sid in the morning. 